crane baby. The governor had called for me. I did not quite know what to expect. He called me inside his office, looked at me and asked, Kiran, do you know why I have called you? I swung my head from side to side and said, I did not. Then he smiled slightly and said, Kiran, the Asian Games are hardly a year away and the Delhi traffic condition is chaotic. I want you to take over as the Delhi traffic chief. I did not know how to react. This was a huge responsibility and it turned out to be one of the most rewarding experiences of my career. And of course, it would win me the nickname Crane Bedi. The 1982 Asian Games that were held in Delhi were a prestigious event for India. I had to draw on every bit of my energy to regulate the traffic. I was out on the roads every morning by 8 in my white ambassador which was fitted with a wireless set and a loudspeaker. I held a microphone in my hand to give instructions whenever needed while being driven around the city. During this period, I worked 19 hours each day. I would return home exhausted and collapse on my bed. In the morning, I would get up fresh and full of energy, ready to make my best effort again. It became a common sight for the people of Delhi to see me on the roads every day, clearing traffic jams. People loved it and welcomed the change. As the police department had no cranes, I hired all those available in the city to watch the roads and tow away wrongly parked vehicles. These moves sent shivers down the spines of all the drivers. They hurried into parking lots as they were scared that Crane Bedi might come. One day, a car belonging to a VIP was found parked on the wrong side of the road. The driver was waiting for the car to be repaired. A sub-inspector fined the driver and towed away the car, not caring that it belonged to a VIP. In fact, it happened to be Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's car. In spite of this, I gave all my support to the sub-inspector for performing his duty. This incident made headlines the next morning. There were many protests, but at the end, people respected me for being fair. <laughs>